Hello! So today we're going to do a food tag so that you guys get to know us a little bit better. Okay, so let's start right in. The first question is... Uh, for me, I don't know. I can eat sweets every day, but you're not supposed to. So, I should have thought about this before. Um, I don't know. I can eat broccoli and cheese every day. That's healthy and it tastes good. Yeah, I like um, broccoli and cheese soup. Um, but something that I could eat every single day is sushi. Like I, there are so many different types of sushi that I don't think I would get sick of it, eating it every day. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I just love food. Uh, so you know, like how you say your mom's food is the best food. For me, it's my home country. I miss their food so much. Um, that is Venezuela, by the way. Um, they have so many different stuff that you can eat. Um, uh, for breakfast, we eat arepas. Um, uh, we have rice, we have beans, we have different types of meats. But they have like cachapas, pan mm. de jamón, ayacas. Um, they have many things over there that I miss so much. And it's so hard for me to find elsewhere. So for me, it's home food. I like seafood. Seafood! Yeah! We had the best pizza ever. Yes. A couple months ago, it was like... It has scallops, shrimp, and... I don't remember what um, else. It was just delicious. Calamari or something? Huh? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was in like an Alfredo sauce instead of the marinara sauce. It was delicious. And we have pictures. We should, we should add them. Yep. If we want to go more regular, I just like uh, probably turkey and I like veggies on my pizza. So green peppers, onions. I like like supreme pizza, so everything you can put in a pizza, I'll eat it. Yep. So. Same here. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any specific plate or any specific thing that I want to try. I just want to try a little bit of everything. I'm very... I'm not picky at all with food. Uh, um, <laughs> this, this one right here is ah. very picky. I like stuff that are different, aphrodisiacs, I will say. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. Um, I like to try shark. I just think it's amazing that such a big animal gets, let itself get cut, so why not eat it? <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. I know, but hey, they'll eat us. True. So, <laughs> Do you imagine, like... We the... eat chickens, and we can, uh, chickens can eat us. The shark is like, hey, you didn't eat me, I'm eating you. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> it's going to sound kind of weird, but I prefer raw veggies than cooked. Uh, <laughs> I, I really like um, arugula, like just raw salad and stuff. Nice. Well, for me, it depends on the veggie. Um, I like steam a lot because, I mean, I like my food to be warm and you still get to keep all the nutrition in it. If you boil it, you just lose everything in the water. You might as well not eat anything. So for me, it's steam. So, okay. does that cook? Yeah, cook. <laughs> I love to bake. I like sweets. I love to cook too. I like to do everything. I think I like to cook just because I never really bake, so I I'm bad at it. <laughs> so I guess I prefer. But not to because cook. you haven't done it means you're bad at it. I'm pretty sure I'm bad at baking. <laughs> so I prefer. We'll have to find that out, son. Yep, very soon. I wish Panera Bread was closer to work because there's nothing around our work. Mm -mm. Um. There's one closer to my house, uh, like a pretty new one actually, but I'm just too lazy to go before work. Like I want something that I can go during work. Um, and Panera Bread, I, I love Panera Bread. I wish there was some Panera Bread like in the parking lot. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, we live in Michigan. We live in a little state called it's, um, Grand Rapids. For me, what I would like to live close to 
is everything. <laughs> <laughs> so the only reason I will ever move to New York is because there's food everywhere. I love food trucks. Whenever I go to New York or somewhere in Florida, I just, I like it. I feel like it's very authentic, very good. Yeah. So, yeah, I wish I lived close to a food truck. So, so... Yeah, yeah, I wish I lived in a bigger city, if that makes sense. Because you can just walk around and see food everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here, you have to drive yeah. m most of the times to find food. E every time. Everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Any shrimp. <laughs> I'm so hungry, like I could just eat. I have one shrimp and lobster. Yeah. Yeah, we like seafood. We love we fishes. Love, yeah, we're yeah. We're island girls. Yes. Yay. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know. I like to mix my ranch with my barbecue. I don't think that's weird. I think that's pretty normal. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I've seen mayo and ketchup or something like that. But that that's different. What yeah. do you do? I think I think that's my only weird habit. I don't know, it's the only one that I can think of. I smell things all the time. <laughs> like when we're drinking, I have to smell my shots, my drinks, my beer, my wine, my food. <laughs> I just smell everything before eating it. I don't know why. It's a it's a bad habit I've heard, but whatever. Mm, I don't do that. I also put honey on my chicken. I've heard that before. I heard someone say they make their steak with honey. Oh, I don't know about steak. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of food places do this. They put sugar or honey and it just makes your food more shiny and more attractive because you eat with your eyes first if you didn't know that. If the, lo the food doesn't look good, you're probably not going to want to eat it. It doesn't matter how good it tastes. So yeah, we weird like that. We're weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have anything that I would never try. Like, who says that? I'll never try. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I watch the travel channel a lot. Because I like to travel, so I would like to have any ideas of what to do when I go to places. And lately, I've been seeing a lot of people eating balls. I don't think I'll ever try balls. <laughs> That's a good one. I changed <laughs> my mind. Oh, no, and I just thought, when you mentioned that, I just thought of... Cat. I know a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Who eats cats? I don't eat know. Cats. So it's I like us eating Rossi and Kilala. That's oh, impossible. No. I just wouldn't. Okay, I changed my mind <laughs> on my answer. I would never try cat or like rabbit. Or balls. Or balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're supposed to be very nutritious. So if you are looking for some protein, go with <laughs> For me, it's ice cream. I love ice cream, especially um gelato. I love Italian ice cream. It's just gelato, gelato. I heard places that have fried ice cream, and I don't know. I had in a few resorts, but it was not exactly what I thought. So I want to go to a place where they do like the real thing. I just gotta find where it is. So if you know, please comment below and let me know so I can find out and yeah, we can do a video about it. Yay. No, um, ice cream, I think, would be my comfort food as well. Especially, not specially, but for some weird reason, I like eat, eating ice cream during the winter. Me too. It's weird <laughs> because it's so cold out and in, but I want ice cream. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Well, there's a lot of things we gotta think about. We cannot eat anything greasy because... Who wants to be all greasy in your mouth or greasy when they're not gonna want to kiss you? <laughs> uh, nothing with a lot of sauce and no ribs or wings or a lot of onions on your dish. So, no onion rings or anything with onion because <laughs> who wants to smell like onions? True. So, when I first started dating my husband, I remember every time we go out, I'll eat steak, shrimp, and mashed potatoes. You don't have to use your fingers. You don't have to play too much around with it, and it tastes delicious. So you don't have to go home hungry just because you don't want to look weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and I was mentioning before. I guess it's a matter of do you know how to <laughs> do you know how to properly? Eat? Yeah. Because you can eat pretty much anything, but do you know how to eat it so that it doesn't get messy, 
or something like that. So really think about that before ordering something. Like if you're going to eat um, lobster or something like that, do you know how to eat lobster? Like in yeah. the shell and everything like that? You're if not you about don't, to somebody on the eye. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, I don't think that's a good idea to order when you're on a first date or something like that. It's uh, rum raisin. Mm. Rum raisin. It tastes like rum. Like, it has really. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I like um, dulce de leche. So more like a caramel um, syrup inside my um, ice cream. I like, I have, I've stopped, I've been trying to stop eating ice cream because, you know, too many calories or whatever. So I've been trying yogurt. So vanilla yogurt with um, caramel cream is just mm. delicious to me. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would miss I don't mayo. Yeah. I yeah, could stop whatever. Eating. Yeah, I could stop eating mayo. I, I can go years without eating pork. I don't know. But sometimes when you smell that baking cooking, it smells so good. I really think I will, I will just cheat and eat some bacon. <laughs> but like pork chops or, um, I don't know, you know how people bake pork and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of stuff with pork. I I don't care for it that much. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm not a vegetarian. I could never be a vegetarian because I love meat. Me, me, me. I was a vegetarian, so I ate seafood. I just didn't eat chicken or beef or ham or anything for a year and a half until last month. <laughs> no, yeah, I I think it was a good idea to eat meat again because, I don't know, I wasn't eating that healthy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being a vegetarian. I, I really respect people who have the discipline to put themselves through that, especially if you grew up eating meat. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just can't do it. But congratulations if you do! <laughs> I think, well, I guess we can make a video about this mm -hmm. later on. But if you, if you have a lot of time to like make your dishes and know what to eat exactly. when you're skipping meat, then go for it. But I don't have a lot of time, <laughs> so I would just eat a lot of like crappy food, like bread and cheese and like chips and so that like I really started feeling really sick because I wasn't getting the protein and the things the that the nutrition that you need, of course. And it, I mean, if you know how to do it, do it. If you don't know how to do it, don't do it because you're just gonna end up hurting yourself at the end because yep. you just you're trying to be healthy, but you're just gonna start eating a whole bunch of empty carbs because you don't know what to eat. Yep. So, do some research. Well, I already spoke about this a little earlier, but um, uh, I was born in Venezuela, although my parents were not from there. That's where I was raised. And they have um, cachapas. They're like um, this huge um, corn tortillas. And you, how do you cook them? Like you put them in the flat iron. Difficult to explain. I'll just put a picture for you guys to see. <laughs> it's really just delicious. Yes. I'm not Venezuelan, but she knows I'm obsessed with cachapa. Like, okay. I could eat cachapa every single day along with sushi. It's so good. Um, I'm, I wasn't born in Dominican Republic, but I was raised in Dominican Republic. And... Um, I don't know, we just eat like rice and beans and chicken and fried plantains. I love kipes. Kipes. We'll just put a bunch of pictures here so <laughs> that you guys get hungry. Um, that was it for today. I hope you liked our questions. If you have any other questions for us, do not hesitate to leave them down below in the comments box. And yeah, I'll, we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.